Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com and I'm very excited. Today we're taking a look at a reflection from Resonmonix. Reflection is the flagship instrument from Resonmonix and it is uh, billed as a soundtrack designer. It's extremely stylized, uh, but it's got a wide range of presets Library downloads is about 550 megabytes. It does require the full version of Contact and it sells for 49 British pounds, 95 pence. Before we dig in here, I just want to make sure to announce that Sample Library Review is hosting its annual holiday sales guide. All of the deals on one page. Probably going to want to bookmark samplelibraryreview.com forward slash holiday. Now, as I was checking out Reflections and listening to all the presets here, uh, it is very stylized, it has a very specific kind of sound. I uh, really loved it. I was pretty inspired, so much to the point that I stopped the review just to write the track you were hearing at the beginning. The library is organized into seven different folders. You've got pads. synths drones Base. A folder for cinematic hits and noise. rhythms Arpeggiated. From the uh, playthrough there, you probably get a pretty good feel for what this instrument's all about. It's very stylized, like I said, it's dull. A little noisy. Uh, uh, there's a lot of cinematic reverb and space and delay. A lot of little noise in there. Personally, I'm digging it, and I was very inspired just playing through the presets and fooling around. The library does come in the photosynthesis engine. It's got an effects panel, a sequence panel, output panel, and arpeggiator. Special note here, something I really love about this uh, library is 
for the majority of the arpeggiated uh, presets, it's actually just turned on. So if you kind of dig the sound and you kind of like what it's doing, you can adjust it on your own, get your own sound going. Same is true uh, with some of the rhythms able to get in and just adjust the uh, step sequencer, um, add or change any LFOs as well if you want to start manipulating and kind of creating your own sounds. Just from the demo I created in, you know, like 15, 20 minutes, I can see how this is going to jumpstart many compositions, both for music makers creating electronic or ambient music, or those especially creating scores. It's got a really neat dark uh, timbre to it and that may very well be a con and a turnoff for some music makers uh, the stylized sound set you know if you're not digging it it's probably not going to be for you um, there is a lot of noise in some of those that is part of the style too and I think that could be problematic for some people although I think it kind of works especially in the uh, the styles of music that I was working with and the demos they've got posted for the instrument. Now, one important note I want to say here, uh, this is a free review. And what that means is that sample library review does not take payment to create reviews. We accept submissions from many different developers and it's free to submit for a review. We do have some partners that are affiliates and advertisers and that money directly does go to helping us create the content for the website, but we never take payment to do a review. We'd love your support. Please subscribe to the channel. All links will be listed in the description below.